Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I will be using Adobe XD to create three different types of loading animations. I love adding loading animations to my prototypes because they give them a realistic feeling, which is always good, especially when you're doing usability testing. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to start with the spinner because it's the most easy and most common of the three options. And for that, I will need three different screens. I call it spinner one, two, and three. To start designing, I will select my spinner one and I will create a circle. I'll come here to the circle icon and I want the size to be 77 pixels. And then I want to center my circle. Then I will remove the fill and I will increase the size of my border to 12. Then I will duplicate this one and I will call the one on top front and then the one on the back back. Then I will select the one on the front and I will change the color. I already have my color safe. Of course, you can use the color you prefer. I will use this pink for my top circle and for the back, I will use a light gray. Then I will select the one on the front and I will increase the gap to a thousand. Then I will go to dash. I will select dash here and I will increase my dash using shift and the top arrow till I have something close to a quarter of my circle and then I will make it round. That's basically it for the design. Um, now I need to duplicate these two circles to my other screens. I will select both, go to spinner number two, copy, paste, spinner number three, paste it here. Then I will go to spinner number two. I will select the one on the front and I will rotate this 180 degrees. Now I'll go to spinner number three, select the one on the top and I will rotate at 360 degrees. And that's it. Now I need to use the prototype to connect these screens. Spinner one to spinner two. I want this to be time. So probably we'll start with tap. So change it to time and the delay to zero. Then transition, I want it to be auto animate and I want this to be none. So for you, we'll probably start with is in out. So change it to none and the duration, I will keep it to 0.2 seconds. The same for spinner number two to spinner number three. I'll connect these two time zero auto animate non 0.2 seconds. And then from spinner number three to spinner number one, I want to change this to transition and change from dissolve to none. Now I'll select the spinner number one and see how it looks. And there you go. It's very easy to have this spinner and I'll probably between the three options, this one is the one I use the most. Now I need to ask you a favor. If you're finding this video helpful so far, please go at the bottom of the video and like it. It will only take you a couple of seconds and it really, really helps for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's start designing the dots loader and the animation of this one is very similar to the spinner. That's why I need three different pages again. And so to start designing, I will select my page number one and I will start with a rectangle, which will be the guide for my circles. So I will press the keyboard R and I will make the rectangle square and I will lock this and change the size to a hundred. Then I will center. Now I can start designing my orchestra drawing by circles. So I will press E create the circle and I want the size to be 25. I can change the color to my pink color and I will remove the border. Then selecting this, the circle and the rectangle, I will center and align it on the top. Now I can start duplicating my circles. I need four circles, so I will duplicate these three times. Then this one will be the one aligned at the bottom. So I will select the circle and the rectangle by pressing command, select the rectangle. And now I will align it on the bottom and I will change the name of this one to 
bottom. Then I'll select another circle. May, oh, this one will be the one aligned to the right. So I will select the circle, command and the rectangle, and then align to the right and center. Now for this one, we'll be on the left, select the rectangle again, center and align left. And also let's change the one on the top to the top. Okay. Now I don't want, I don't need the, the border of my rectangle. And then before copy the design to my other pages, I will group this. I can press command G or right click and group. Once I have my group, I will start copy and pasting on my other pages. So control B, control B. And now for the one in the middle, I want to rotate this group 90 degrees. And I will change the size to 15. And I will do the same for all of my circles. 15. And 15. And then I need to locate then again, select the, the dot, the rectangle, and then center align on the top same for this one the dot the rectangle center align to the right and i will start doing the same for all of them so center align on the bottom select this one my rectangle center and align to the left and now i need to start moving these circles closer toward the center of my rectangle so i want to i want to move around 20 pixels so i can select the circle press shift and press the arrow down two times and the same for the other one so basically every time you press shift and an arrow the changes are a matter of 10 pixels so select move to toward the center we'll do the same for all of them and now I will select all my dots and change the opacity to 30. That's it for this page. And now for this one, I just need to rotate the entire group to 180 degrees. And there seems to be uh, something with the alignment. So I will select all of them and align again. I don't know why change. I'll do this real quick. Select the dots, the rectangle, and center. There you go. Now I will connect the prototypes and the animation is very similar to the spinner. So I'll select the first one, connect to the second one, time delay zero. This will be auto animate and we're gonna change this. Or oh, this time we're gonna keep an is in out and the duration will be 0.6 seconds. The same for page two to page three. Time zero, auto animate is in out, duration 0.6. And again, to close a loop for page number three to page number one, I want to make this set of auto animate transition and none. Now I can see how it looks. Now, our last loader, the circle with the percentage, is actually easier than it looks. So to start designing, I will start with a circle. I will press E, create the circle, and I want the size to be 125. I will center this. I will remove the fill, and I'll increase the border size to 6 pixels. Then again, I will duplicate because I want this one to be on the back. And I want this one to be on the front. And now I will change the color. Very similar to the spinner, I will make this my pink, I'll select the, the one on the back. I will make it light gray. And now I will select the one on the front and I will increase the gap to a thousand. And also I will make it round corners. So now I can select both of them and copy to my next page. And selecting the one on the front, I will put my cursor on the dash, press the keyboard shift and increase the size till I have a full circle something like this and that basically it for my circle I can now go and see how it looks on the prototype so I'll click the prototype 
connect these two pages. This time I want the trigger to be time again, zero delay. I want this to be auto animate in out by the duration. I will make it a little longer. So I will make it four seconds and now select the screen number one and that's it for my circle. Now let's go back to the sign and start creating the percentage. For the percentage, I need four layers of text. I need the percentage symbol and then the three numbers. So I will create my first one is the percentage and I will be using poppins light 20 and a dark gray for the color. So the first one is the percentage. Then I will duplicate this one and I will keep a distance of two pixels. And this one will be my unit. So I will start with zero, press enter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then since I wanted to go to a hundred, I will end with zero like this. Then I will duplicate this one. I'll keep a distance of two again. And this one needs to come after my units. So I will press enter till it moves after my last zero. And then the last one is the one to complete the, the, the hundred percent. So I will duplicate this one, move and keep the distance of two pixels. I will change it to one. And then again, I want to move the last one after my previous zero. So I'll keep pressing enter till it goes there. There you go. Now I need to hide the units are outside of or that are not aligned with my percentage. And for that, I will create a rectangle of something like this. It doesn't matter exactly the shape of my rectangle. I just need to hide whatever is outside of this rectangle. So I will remove the fill and I need to move this rectangle um, sorry, I need to move it on top of my numbers Send, try to center there. And now I will select this rectangle and the rest of my numbers and I will right click and go to mask this shape. And now that will make everything that goes outside of my rectangle to not be visible until they go on this area. So now I can center this um i want to start with the zero to in the center now i can duplicate on my next page paste it here and now i need to start moving the numbers i'll select this till they are aligned to my percentage same for this one this is the final state so they will need to go till the last number for the three of them and my one, I'll need to do the same, move it till there are a line. There you go. And I think it seems to be an issue with the distance. So I will move it to something like that. And I want this to be center as my last state. So something like this, there you go. And now let's check how it looks on my prototype. The animation is the same. I don't need to do anything else here. So I will just click play. And it seems to be working pretty well. So that's it. We have our circle. We have the percentage. And this is the last of our loaders. That is for this video. Hopefully you learned something useful today. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about Figma, Adobe XD and Protopie. And see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.